In this video, you'll learn how to install, set up, and host an FTP server on a Windows PC without needing any third-party software. We'll use the built-in FTP services available in all versions of Windows. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional FTP server on your PC, accessible from other computers or mobile devices using an FTP client. So let's get started. Before setting up the FTP server, ensure that the computer you'll use as the FTP server is assigned a local static IP address. To set this up, open the Network Connections page. If you are using Ethernet connection, then assign the static IP to your Ethernet adapter. I am using wireless router, so I will assign static IP address to my computer, wireless adapter. Double click on your active network adapter. Click Properties. Double click Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, and manually enter your IP details to make it permanent. Click OK to save the settings, and your static IP address is configured. To install the FTP software, you need to enable FTP services through the Windows Features page. Open the Windows Features page. Expand the Internet Information Services section by clicking the plus icon. Check the boxes for FTP Server. Additionally, check the box for Web Management Tools. Click OK and Windows will install the required components for the FTP server. Once the necessary components are installed, you can move on to configuring your FTP server. Start by creating a folder that will serve as the storage location for all files on your FTP server. Be sure to move all the files you want to share into this folder to make them accessible via the FTP server. Next step is to set up an FTP site. Follow these steps. Open IIS Manager. Expand the arrow next to your computer's name. Right-click Sites and select Add FTP Site. In the FTP Site Name field, enter a short, descriptive name for your server. Under Content Directory, select the folder you created earlier for file sharing. Then click OK. Click Next to proceed. In the IP address field, input the static IP address assigned to your PC. Keep the default FTP port 21 and check the box to start FTP site automatically. For SSL, select No SSL if you're using the FTP server only on a local network. However, for business environments, it's recommended to configure the site with SSL for added security. Under Authentication, check the basic option to require FTP clients to log in with an account. If you prefer allowing access without login credentials, select the Anonymous option. In the Authorization section, choose who can connect to the FTP server. Choose specific users to create and assign an FTP-specific user account. Enter the username if you select this option. Grant the user read and write permissions to the FTP directory. Click Finish to complete the setup. Your FTP server is now online and will remain active whenever your computer is powered on and connected to the network. Next is to create an FTP user. You can simply add a local user account to your PC. Follow these steps to create a user without linking it to a Microsoft account. Go to your setting, then Accounts, scroll down and click on Other Users. Then click on Add an Account button. Create user without Microsoft account, click on I don't have the person's sign and information. Then click Add user without Microsoft account. Create a new local user by entering a username and password. Remember the username and password as they will be required to log in via FTP clients. Once the user account is created, grant it access to the FTP directory. Right-click on the FTP folder and select Properties. Navigate to the Security tab and click Edit. 
click add. Enter the username and click check name. It will assign the username automatically. Then click OK and grant it full control permissions. Click OK to save the changes. This ensures the new user can access and manage files in the FTP directory. By default, Windows Firewall blocks FTP connections, so you'll need to allow the service manually. Follow these steps. Open Windows Firewall. Select Allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall. Click on Change Settings. Find FTP Server in the list and enable it for both private and public networks. After this, your FTP server should be accessible from the local network. If you're still unable to connect via FTP clients, you can try disabling Windows Firewall temporarily to resolve the issue. If you're accessing the FTP server from a Windows computer, you don't need to install any additional FTP client software. Windows File Explorer has a built-in feature for connecting to FTP servers. Here's how to connect. Open File Explorer, then right-click on an empty space and select Add a Network Location. Enter the FTP server address in this format. Uncheck the log on anonymously option and input your FTP username. Assign a name to the network location for easy identification. Once setup is complete, the FTP site will appear in File Explorer. Simply double click it to connect. The first time you access the FTP server, you'll be prompted to enter the password for the local user account you created earlier. After logging in, you can transfer files seamlessly by copying and pasting them to or from the FTP folder. You can also use dedicated FTP client software, such as FileZilla or RealFTP client software. You can download and install RealFTP client from Microsoft Store to connect to your FTP server for a more advanced experience. By following this guide, you're now ready to utilize the FTP server functionality built into Windows, making file sharing and management across devices quick and efficient. And that's it. You've successfully set up an FTP server on your Windows PC. Whether for personal use or local network sharing, this built-in feature is super convenient and easy to use. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Byte Geek for more tech guides.